tiny mic today because I'm going to be moving around too much and I can't be restricted to being connected to my phone. But it's about, actually I don't have my watch on either, it's probably about 8.39 right now and normally I don't film things at night because that's not when the lighting is nice and pretty for you guys. But I'm in the middle of doing a project for my photo class and so this is what this mess is. I thought I would just film a little bit of it to show you the process of it because I think if I was a prospective student, I would think it's cool to watch an art student do that. The photo project is a still life project and so we have to turn in three photos at the end um, that are all somewhat connected. And so yeah, I decided to be making three still life setups using trash. Um, that's just, I like using trash as material. And so it's three trash still lifes with, um, one of them is gonna have like a red light and then another one's gonna have a blue light and then the last one's gonna be a yellow light. So using primary color lighting. So I've already done two of them and I've already shot them. I just have to do my last one with the yellow lighting. And so I have my trash chosen out and I have my background. I also need to clear out um, the old, this is the old setup I did. Um, so yeah, I thought I would film it and you guys can see a little bit of the at-home process for art students because it is definitely not glamorous at all. Um, it is very, it's not ideal, but it's okay. I'm making it work and hopefully the end product comes out well. And so also I'm shooting it on film. I have my film camera set up. I don't own a tripod, so I'm setting it up on some books and this box and stool. This will be hopefully the only video ever that is without the tiny mic, so yes, thank you for watching. Okay, it's dark in my room because I have the lights off now. Um, so the next part, I have it all set up and I have my major light set up, which is just my laptop with the screen being yellow to, <laughs> to create a yellow light. It's not the best situation and it's definitely not projecting as much yellow light as I would want it. Now I'm actually gonna take some photos on my camera. I don't know how they're gonna turn out until I get them developed. So we'll just have to hope that they turn out okay. Yeah, release the shutter. And this way it helps so I'm not shaking the camera as much by pushing it myself. So I'm just gonna make sure everything looks good. And so that's one photo. I'm pretty sure I finished the roll of film. And so that just means I'm done because I don't have any more film. And so I am just gonna have to trust that I got a good enough shot to turn in. I hope this video was interesting to you guys. Um, I hope it was insightful into how an art student works during a pandemic. Um, if you are a prospective student interested in art, then all I can say is pursue that. It's super fun and it's definitely made remote school bearable, um, being able to do art and art projects and things that I enjoy. And so, yes, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was insightful and if not, and if you're not a prospective art student, then I hope it was still entertaining. <laughs> seeing me fumbling around in the dark but yeah um thank you thank you again for watching yay good job everyone